Not wasting any time into this one. George Mangus getting the easy layup. Shawnee scored the first seven points of this game. But how about some good cut off the backdoor action for CJ Zacharich? That would be Defiance's first points of the night. Now Brady Wheeler driving, going high off the glass for two. Nine to two, Shawnee, at this point. Now more action from Shawnee. Kick out to Toby Freiberger. Closes at the end, the D does, but not fast enough. Three-pointer is good. Defiance now down 21, but trying to keep pace. Zacharich says, I could dial long distance also. His three-pointer cuts the lead down to 18. Some good transition here for Shawnee. Wheeler feeling to Austin Miller, and Miller no trouble with the right hand. The lead back up to 23. Now, Mangus getting the pass outside. Parts the defense and gets three points the hard way, pushing the lead further out to 25. Now more transition buckets for Shawnee. Austin Miller coast to coast and then nice finish here. Look at the fadeaway off the glass and in. This will be the last bucket for Shawnee in the final three and a half minutes, but they scored more than enough. 77-43 the final tonight. Shawnee with the win. After the game, Aaron Matthews flagged down Shawnee coach Mark Triplett to talk about getting the dub tonight. Successful win tonight for the Shawnee Indians on the road at Defiance. Mark Triplett your guys came out strong, you came out quick, and it was, I think, helped you guys get into those high percentage shots early on. Yeah, we, we talked about the defensive end of the floor. You know, we have to give them one shot. They have some really good shooters all over the floor, and, and I think that if, if we didn't come out with a sense of urgency on the defensive end, that's where they have the ability to hurt you. And then those long shots, long rebounds, and I thought it was key for us to give them one look, a contested look, and then push the pace and transition. And, and we wanted to play at our pace, not at Defiance's pace.